Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Now, I'm a big fan of professional wrestling and of course, movies. And when these two worlds collide, well, sometimes they can be a lot of fun. Now, this particular movie will star professional wrestler Batista, who of course has been in a bunch of movies. But what really got me to check out this movie was that it stars Rob Van Dam. Now, will this movie make you rage to the extreme or will it make your whole effing day if you check it out? Let's get on with my movie look back review of The Wrong Side of Town, released back in 2010. The movie stars Rob Van Dam as Bobby Kalinowski, Dave Batista as Big Ronnie, Eric Brown as Clay, Ja Rule as Razor, Scott L. Schwartz as Deacon, and was directed by David Del Falco. Now, Bobby is a retired Navy SEAL who lives a very chill life with his wife Dawn and his daughter Brianna, but his life is about to get a whole lot more interesting when his new neighbor Clay invites him and his wife out for a night on the town. Now, Clay has this hookup at this ultra VIP lounge because the club's owner, Deacon, is a client of his. And things go great at first. I mean, the club owner, Deacon, even comps their table. But things are going to get just a little bit crazy when Deacon has to run out on personal business and leaves his brother, Ethan, in charge. Now, on a trip back from the ladies' room, that is when Dawn is approached by younger brother Ethan, and let's just say he's very intent on spending some quality time with her. Now, when Bobby realizes that his wife Dawn is missing, that's when he has to go out and search for her. Now, when Bobby does track down Ethan, this little brother does not want to play nicely. And after a bit of a scuffle, let's just say, well, Ethan, he's going to bite the dust. Now, of course, this will enrage the older brother, Deacon. And even though Bobby's actions are justified, Deacon is going to have every branch of thug out there searching for Bobby. Now, in addition to professional wrestlers Rob Van Dam and Batista, you might also see some other familiar faces like Big Daddy V, AKA Viscera, and rapper Ja Rule is also in this movie. Now, Ja Rule is actually featured on the movie poster, but I think there's just a little bit of false advertising when it comes to this because his part in this movie is so short that if you get up to get a beverage from the refrigerator, well, you just might miss it. Now, even though Bobby has plenty of tricks up his sleeves, he's gonna be outnumbered by Deacon's thugs, and that's when he's gonna have to cash in his money in the bank and call in a favor from an old Navy SEAL squad mate, Big Ronnie. Now, while Deacon has enough goons out there to resemble DC Comics' version of the Legion of Doom, these two road warriors, Bobby and Big Ronnie, will be too much for them to handle. And that's when Deacon decides he's going to play dirty, and he actually kidnaps Bobby's daughter, which will force Bobby to go all John Matrix to get her back. Now, do I recommend the movie Wrong Side of Town? Well, here's the deal. This movie really isn't that good, but at the same time, I did watch the entire movie and I did get entertainment value out of it. It really is one of those straight to DVD type of movies. It's very low budget and the acting can be pretty cheesy. And I'm gonna put an asterisk by this movie. You really have to be a fan of Rob Van Dam really to make it to the very end. So if you can go into this movie with low expectations and you're a fan of Rob Van Dam, well then yes, I can recommend Wrong Side of Town. Now, as of this recording, Wrong Side of Town is streaming for free on Tubi with limited commercials. So if you've ever been interested in checking this movie out, now's the time while it's available for free. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the movie Wrong Side of Town a five out of 10. And a five for me means the movie was straight average. The acting is not very good and the dialogue, well, it's actually worse. But if you could put all of that to the side and you're a fan of Rob Van Dam, maybe you'll find some entertainment value in this movie like I did. Now, have you ever seen the movie Wrong Side of Town or did you know this movie even existed? Comment down below. And guys, if you like movie look back reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it, go now, do it now.